Tariq, I am your host, Chef Tariq, and today this is a this is a culture episode. This is a real real episode today. We got my brother DJ Rock Ryan in the building. How you what's up? What's up? Guys? Woo! What's up? Yeah, cool. Thank you for having me. The number one thing besides besides DJ and I like is food. I love food. We can't go wrong with especially Dominican food. Yes, yes. Traditional. Well, food. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get into that because man, there's a little issue we had this week with the food. So <laughs> we're gonna get it. We're gonna get into that though. We're gonna get into that, but yeah, look, today we are making ch- chitneys. If y'all know, if y'all be on Broad Street, y'all know the shimmy trucks be popping. Oh, Late at night, especially after the clubs. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally, so y'all, y'all know, so we are gonna make some chitneys today. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. Look, we got DR in the building, we got Hate in the building. This is, this is a real cultural experience today. I'm excited for it. Ron, sorry for it, man. Oh, man, yeah. You're right, you're outside early. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was just in the club yesterday. We're outside early. I love look, it. I love it. Look, and it's daylight savings, so make sure y'all are up. Change look, those clocks. Yeah, change those clocks. We lost an hour today. So the sun's down at seven today. <laughs> wow. Let's, look, we about to be outside for real, for real. Let's get. Look, let's get. Let's get. <laughs> <let's get started. laughs> Class. Don't look at me, pull up a class. 
It's a classic dish in DR as well. Uh, so this is what we're gonna make today. So right now we have red onion, we have some green onions, have some red, red, onion, uh, red peppers and green peppers, red onions. We're gonna saute this and get it into our ground beef mix. With some Worcestershire and our seasoning. And then we have some Portuguese bread that I found because the way we're gonna basically shape our, our patties isn't gonna be round. They're gonna be kind of like oval shape basically. We're gonna have some tomatoes, we have some cabbage and some red onions that's a pickled a little bit. That's gonna go on top as well. And I'm gonna do uh, some ketchup and mayo sauce. I know I don't like mayo, so we're gonna try that today. <laughs> I, I, I don't like it. But we're gonna get we gonna do it. So right now we're gonna so, just so, sweat our onions. We're gonna sweat our peppers. We're gonna, we're gonna sweat our green peppers. We'll get this sweating. We're gonna get our ground beef into our bowl. Now we're gonna use we're using about two and a half pounds of ground beef. We got, our, we got our DJ, we got DJ Ronnie Ron in the building. New DJ, so of course we gotta get to know him. DJ Ronnie Ron. What's up, what's up? Well, first, you know, you're, you're younger than me, I know that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but how'd you, get, how'd you get into DJing, you know? Where'd you grow up at? Um, well, first of all, it all started back in the day. Man. Everything has a story. <laughs> um, uh, my passion for music has been basically since I lived in my mother's womb. I don't remember when it started. But as soon as I met the passion of DJing and putting out music for others to be happy, I was happy with it. Mm -hmm. And I can remember being in Bobby in middle school and DJing my middle school dances, which was crazy. You were, you were DJing your middle school dances? Yeah, it was, which was crazy. Like, I'm talking about 11, 12 year old. I'm over here, like, DJing, playing, you know what I'm saying? Like, diamonds in the sky back in the day. Oh, all the good bangers. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, man. And since ever, ever since that, it was just passion. What middle school was you DJing at? Um. <laughs> Ellen Riss. Okay. Yeah, so I went from Ellen Riss and then I went from Sedway. 
and then from Segway, I went to my high school, and I DJ'd a little bit at uh, Central Falls High School too. And I've met a lot of, over the years, I've met a lot of DJs that I didn't know I was going to meet in the game. Really? And my boy DJ Diamond, we met in the, in the process as well, a whole bunch of DJs too. But my fashion took over as soon, it's, it's a crazy story. First of all, I quit DJing after like, arriving into high school. But one day my cousin was like, can I book you for a private event? I was like, dude, I haven't done DJing in so long. I was getting a haircut. And he was like, yeah, my, my uncle, he's opened up he's opening up a place. And I'm like, the same uncle we know he hasn't told me about. And I was like, yeah. I think I might get back to DJing. I haven't tried it. I don't have any equipment. That same week, I remember I left my job. So I didn't have a check. I had my last check. I spent it all on equipment. After that, I started getting serious that day. I thank him for putting me back on because he was like, all right, let's get you rolling again. I started getting a couple gigs at that bar. That bar turned into a lounge after that. I had several opportunities. I went to Providence. I opened up in Providence. And it was quick. Listen, I only have four years in the, in the game. A lot of the DJs that literally see me, they always tell me, dude, it took me about six to seven years to just be in a club. But for me, it took like a year and a half. And then I was traveling the second year. I think we were already in Orlando. Then we went to Massachusetts and then Boston. And then I did a lot of private events that whole year. After that, it just started rolling, literally. It hasn't been slow ever since. Man. That's, that's crazy. Look, that's, that's, that's a crazy, crazy story. At a, at, a, at a young age, you, caught, like, you found it. What? Yeah, it all started like around like 18 when I had arrived at the club. And then right now I'm 23, I'm going to turn 24. So I have the whole game ahead of me. Yeah, hell yeah. You have, you have a lot. You haven't even done yet as oh, well. Like, that's the, this is the beginning, bro. That's, the crazy thing is like, we, like you tell your story, like all the DJs we had, like they talk like, you know, they had to put the grind in, they did this, they had to yeah. do that. And then they got into like... That like everything else where you're yeah. at, like you like jumped it basically. Yeah, but, like put the work in still. Yeah, I didn't know what I was expecting, but on top of the work, like dude, I had more passion than anything. Like I remember just meeting my girlfriend back in 2019, and during summer, like you see everybody else outside. Let's go to the pool, right? I literally have snaps of me sitting on the desk all day, just trying to get the same cue down. Like, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. And me telling my girl, like, listen, by the second year, we're probably going to be in Orlando DJ. Year and a half, we were in Orlando. Then after that, we came from vacation from out there. And I DJed from out there. And then after here, they picked up on me a little bit more. And I was like, all right, it's getting rolling. Started getting my connections here and there. It was just constant. It was like, yo, I like your groove. Overall, you have passion. You're passionate about that. And then I transferred my personality into the mic. And then it was over, man. It was over. The mic plus my passion, that shit was crazy. The group, yeah. the group chat said, why are you talking like you're 40? Like I'm what? <laughs> like I'm you're 40. Like, oh, man. 40 years With old. With all these equipment I have to carry, man, trust me, my back's about 50 right now. <laughs> yeah, like, Damn, oh, why oh, oh, are you killing them? You man. gotta understand. Stay but, here. But you to make it in the game, you have to take more chances than anything. Like, I was doing private events. And I was going up the third floor steps like, oh man, why'd I take this around, man? Yes. I could have just skipped this and did a baby shower outside. But what was going on, there was people in there that knew people that knew people from the situation I was going through, basically the clubs and promoters. So in my mind, I'm like, somebody's going to hear me. Somebody's going to book me. Somebody's going to talk about me. That's the same mindset I literally, 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 literally go through every day. Like, I have to take this opportunity, like today. You don't know who's watching me, but you're gonna hear me mix and you're gonna be like, I'm gonna book him for a private event, he sounds dope. And I'm gonna be like, hey, what'd you hear from me? Oh, I was in Beats and Brunch, and I was like, you said? Well, they, they found him on mixes that with Chef Street. You're you know what I'm private. saying? This is what we do out here. I don't know if it's an onions or a story, but I'm kind of tearing up. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, so right now we just added our vegetables into our ground beef. We added some Worcestershire sauce. Now we're gonna season it with some salt. We're gonna add, we're gonna add that complete seasoning. You know, we got love that. We got, we got, for the, the Spanish game, we got Jocelyn's favorite complete seasoning. Yo. <laughs> we're gonna add some. We're gonna add some some sazon as as well. If I can get them open. Yeah. Is 
Yeah, what kind of Cessna is that one? Because there's different kinds. There, there are different kinds. <clears throat> this is the... They said they're happy that your hair is done. <laughs> My hair was done last week. Why y'all... Don't, be, don't try to diss me. Right, they just noticing now. What? We shot it out last week. <laughs> so which one is this one? Uh, the con... Salancho. 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 Yeah. And we're gonna add, of course, the Old Bay. We can't... Look, this is a Spanish episode. We still gotta add the blackness to it. Yes, yes. man. Kayla says she's gonna need you to get your accent right. Kayla, 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 man, Kayla's been on me all week, man. Yeah. Alright, you know what? It's a perfect segue while I mix my beats. Whoa. Hey, yo. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. <laughs> while I mix my ground beat. Uh, so. So now, DJ Ronnie, when it comes, you know, you say you, you know, you love food. Yeah. But man, the first thing you said to me was, I'm mad picky. Oh, oh man. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, so first of all, the background story to being a DJ is uh, you eat a lot. <laughs> You're on the road a lot. Yeah. So you eat a lot. Yeah. If y'all see DJ Maddox, y'all know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, we eat a lot. So what happens is you start becoming picky. You know where exactly and how exactly you want your food and how well done. So it's like, oh, we can go to the Chili's up the street. And I'm like, yeah, but we can also go to the Chili's across the country and it tastes better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it don't matter about location. Like, as, as long as you get the satisfaction of that taste you wanted and you see how good it was, because there's places that are literally feed you anything. And you have to pay and be like, oh, okay, we're in this fancy place and we only got half a steak or a small piece. And it wasn't even good. So, so, so you're not the fine dining type. <coughs> oh no, man. <laughs> no, I need my big plate. But better than than going out, I just love my home cooking. Like, I got a girl for that reason, and I made sure she was a chef. For that reason. Just want to say. For that reason. Just want to say, I, I made sure she was a chef. <laughs> so she chefs it up in the cook in the kitchen. So I love, I just love all her plates, man. And then she just. Pleases me with all the plates. I'm, I wake up literally like yesterday before I went to sleep. I woke up craving something for the morning. It's crazy, right? I texted her. Mind you, we sleep together. I texted to her, and as I'm leaving, uh, I think it was uh, in the afternoon, almost in the afternoon. She's like, "Oh, I almost got your plate ready." I was around 12, right? I was like, "Oh, I almost got your plate ready." I was like, "What are you talking about?" He was like, "You remember before going to sleep, you texted me something," and I was like. Oh yeah, <laughs> we gonna eat good today. We gonna eat good today. I forgot I even wanted that. So it's just a satisfaction of good now, food, bro. Good now, seasoning. Definitely. Now, fellas, this this is this is a this is one thing to always look for. If you can't cook, get a girl that went to culinary school or is a chef that can cook. All right. There ain't nothing better than that. What's, what is, what's better than that is you can cook yourself. <laughs> but that's not that's not what I wanted to get into. What I wanted to get into was so originally we were gonna do I'm I'm gonna mispronounce it. San Sancocho. 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 All right. Originally we was gonna do that. And then Friday afternoon he goes. Damn, I should have told you earlier. Yeah. I don't even yeah. like that. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, listen, you have to understand, you got you got people from one culture that necessarily don't like some of the cultures too. Only because one, they haven't had it, or they haven't found the right the right person to make it. You know what I'm so, saying? That, so, to your liking. Okay, so is it is it with with that, is it you haven't had the right bowl? Is it Um so I haven't had it so listen, my mom I consider my mom one of the best cookers on top of obviously my girlfriend. Okay. My girlfriend hasn't made it, so that's already like a sign, right? So I'm like, <laughs> it's not for me. My mom who birthed me hasn't even made it. So I'm like, yeah man, it's not gonna be today. I, Cause listen between my girlfriend and my mom, best cooking in the world. So if I've tried it in the streets, I feel like I'm like, I'm gonna be like, nah. Okay. I don't even like it. Like, if somebody would be like, you want some culture? I'd be like, nah, nah. Okay. I don't wanna take the risk right now. If I ever do, I wanna know what's missing. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, so, mm. so you, need, you need your mom, or you need yeah, your mom. Like, yeah, like, yeah. And then you know, okay. Like, yeah. What can I base it on? What can I judge it off? Yeah, but besides that, I'm also just straight picky. 
Okay. Ever since I was little, I've just straight picked them. Now, what, what's some food you do like? I'm a simple guy. <laughs> like, I'll sit here and literally, you'll be like, she'll be like, so what, what you want me to cook? I'll be like, let me get some rice, white rice with tuna. I should be like, you'd be happy with that? I'm like, oh. who else said that on the show? No, that. Someone franchise, said that franchise. on the show. No, 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 it wasn't no, franchise. No. No, DJ, DJ Royal Roy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tuna I mean, like, I and love rice. That. And now, fish. now, is it tuna from the can? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to Tariq. What you gonna ask me next? <laughs> what you gonna ask me next? Water or oil? <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about tuna in the can. <laughs> but no. All right, so, you know, you like, yes, the simple guy, simple dishes. What are things you like, you've tried and you're like, I'm not eating it. I can't have it. Um, as in anything or as yeah, vegetables or anything? Or anything. Like a meal, um, what was it? I think I remember one time in Ellerith, I had this teacher give me a piece of her sandwich and it was made out of, uh, what is that, uh, what's it called, that type of salad that has no flavor? Egg salad? No, 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 we don't egg salad. I don't even think it's a salad. It's, a salad. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like the leaf they, they eat with the sandwich or something like that. Like, what was it? Arugula? No, no, no. I think that's what it was. Spinach? Yeah, spinach. Yeah, that, yeah, I don't know why we, So she gave me a spinach sandwich, and I was like, why does it have flavor? And she was like, it's a, I feel like that's the first sign of me not liking any type of like vegetable food, because I was like, whoa! I was like, this is what everything tastes like? <laughs> That's why I'm like picky, because if I try a San Gocho, I'm like, whoa! Now I'm going to be scared to try it anywhere else. Because I'm like, no, no, no. That's why I, I feel like if it starts from like, because everything you've had in your life starts from a beginning. Who feeds you? Your mom and your dad. That's why I said, if my mom fed it to me first, then that means I like it. That's why I said it. Okay. But other than that, if I was like curious about it, which I'm barely curious about any food, like it has to look good for me to be like, oh, okay, boom. But to my liking, I'm very picky again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll give him the pass on that. See, I'm not, I'm not the only one. <laughs> all right, Han, do, do you like onions though? No. 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 Thank you. <laughs> what a Han knows the shape of you. Nothing. I told you I'm a simple guy. I said that, right? Did I mention that? Lettuce and cabbage. That's oh, far, far as he'll go. No spinach though, right? No, no spinach. <laughs> no, man. That's the day I walked out, man. <laughs> what is this? What? He said no spinach. Alright, so. He right tried, now, he tried. <laughs> right now we're gonna scoop out. Speaking of onions, Maddox just joined. Oh, Maddox. From one big guy that likes food to another. How, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> All right, with our patties, we're just kind of like flattening them out. Don't make fun of me while I do this, though. I'm making fun of you. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Chef got his hair done. So they really, yeah, they really frying you on that. Yo, I literally had my hair done last week. Like, what did you guys, like, what was you guys paying attention to last week? I know franchises on the show, but like, damn. Also, Chef Chef Kayla is coming back on the show very soon, very, very soon. We're doing a sushi episode. She's sushi! Excited. She's excited. I'm excited. I know y'all going to be excited. Maddox going to be excited because he loves Kayla. <laughs> so, I'm free. dead. Free! Yes, yes, yes. Huh? Maybe. Depends how you act. <laughs> you might have to ask Kayla for that one. I don't know. Kayla, oh, we making California rolls? <laughs> How soon and what? He's excited. He's excited. Oh, he said you need some makeup. Matic is a creep, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla said she, her mom wants you to dance again. First of all, like Kayla's mom is watching. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just like smiling, it does. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that to myself. You, you, you get it once and that's it. Maybe for the outro. 
No. Hey, yo, what's good with that? <laughs> what do you say? Yeah. <laughs> what, what did Maddox say? I can't even they got mod, mod. Yo, yo, Maddox, we just said Kayla's mom is watching. <laughs> Where's mods? Mods, get on it. Uh, mod. We need moderator now is on here. Mod again? How do you do that? <laughs> DJ Cricket, so uh, good morning, Chef Three. Good morning, DJ Cricket. Yo, DJ Cricket, we gotta get you on the show as well, my dog. Damn, yeah. Put the camera on me. Give him, give him one more chance. Watch what y'all Maddie, say. Maddie, you say one more crazy thing. Yeah. Come on. I'm, tell, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The, the, the mods is watching. <laughs> Careful what you say. Alright? Maddie gonna be put in a pack soon. Get out of here. Wait, what changed you to go? Speaking, uh, speak, speaking of packs, April 30th. Maddie's <laughs> 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 wild. Yeah. April 30th. Stevie DoorDash versus Miss Hayblock Battle of the Chefs. Exclusively on YouTube. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the YouTube. Uh, now, DJ Ronnie, <laughs> we asking all our DJs who they think is going to win our Battle of the Chefs. We got Stevie DoorDash versus my mom, Miss Hayblock. <laughs> so, who you got? Who, 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 who you Remember, got? everybody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, Stevie DoorDash. Hayblock's is my mother. <laughs> From my mother's experience in cooking, uh, women know how to cook pretty well, so uh, I don't really, 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 I'm gonna go with A Block. Okay, okay. Sheesh! And you know what, Miss A Block changed the flyer from a few times, so you know what, he, he's a little grateful. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm a picky eater. Yo, Lily, watch, right when I got off the phone with you, I said, yo, she gonna cuss me out for this. I called her, I said, yeah. Like, oh, man, I'm like, yo, I apologize. <laughs> yo, literally. I called her, her face just said. Straight up. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone who knows can see it. <laughs> he said that part. Secret ingredient. What's the secret? Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Also, make sure y'all put in the chat what you guys want me to add for their secret ingredients. One ingredient for each person. So DJ Ronnie, the day of, the day of the battle, they both they're picking their dishes. The day before, I'm giving them both one ingredient that they have to add into their recipe. Yes. Now, from here until August, it, oh, it's April 30th. Everyone can put in the chat what they think. I'll go through them and see what I want to give them. I'll put out the day before. What do you think should be in Stevie DoorDash's dish? Um, what ideas do you have as a dish right now? Julie, what was it? I don't know, you want to give away my secret. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, whatever it might be, I know it needs a dipping sauce, right? My favorite dipping sauce, well done. You need a dipping uh, sauce uh, for chili? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, you never know. You said he wasn't saying. So I, I didn't know whether it's chilies or fries he nah, was making. No. But my I'm joke just, is I can only make chili. That's what they say. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the joke. Well, that's an inside joke. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not outside. a joke. It's for real. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, if you do make anything with any dipping sauce, you have to have the mayo ketchup. <laughs> the mayo ketchup has to be there. And the hot sauce, of course. Because it can go in the chili. Right. <laughs> you know? Mayo ketchup. All right, all right. What, what do you think for Miss a Block, though? Um, I don't know, man. Because uh, by experience, I don't think you gotta tell a woman what to do in the kitchen, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I know you laughing. I got kicked out a few times from the, from the kitchen. <laughs> like this, these. Oh, get out! Oh, oh, oh. You gonna take another piece? <laughs> see, see, you're, you're better than me. I'm a chef. I'll tell him, I'll tell him what to do. Okay. <laughs> even, even, even your mom? Yes. Yeah. Sheesh. You're like, you're missing look, this. Look, there's a reason why I went to culinary school for America for three years. Ooh. I'm trained in it. I'm biased. <laughs> How many you think you're almost close to me as good as her, though? No. Who? Your, your mom. mom. Am I a, as close as I'm above? Good? Oh. I'm above. Uh, I'm above. <laughs> that takes some. Uh, 
Pick one. Uh, oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. I, I'm better than her. Oh! No, I will say, I have no. I have no. She's gonna get us canceled. You, you, you oh! Have, you are? Oh! She hurt you, right? She has. Okay, just now, so you know. Now, now. We gotta get a close now, up on this thing. Now, face. now. Nowhere near impossible. Now, of course. Now, when you're the students, aka your parents are your teachers, yep. it's supposed to be better than your teachers. I mean, I'm the teacher. Does I'm go the, both ways. You are right. Uh, I'm, I'm the teacher. So. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, above what? Wait till you pull up. <laughs> the, the, the crazy thing is, she said something to me. Yeah. She said something to me. She won't admit to anyone else. But you know, I'm not gonna say it here. So. She said, "I'm on my way now." <laughs> You getting it? She said. Step outside. <laughs> she, she, she know what it is. <laughs> We're gonna get our pan nice and hot for our patties. Also, we have our uh, portable grill. Ooh, is this something new from the Chef Tariq company? Yeah, sure. She got the portable grills out today. <laughs> it's gonna be for our bread. We got it nice and hot, we're just gonna oil our, our towel. Nice and down. Nice and, nice and greased. We're gonna take our bread. We're, we're gonna oil both sides. The hits. The hits. We're gonna rub in, rub in the oil. We're gonna go right on top of our grill. Press it down just so we can get our grill marks. Sir, you needed the, the, the brick with the aluminum foil around there. The what? The brick. You know the brick you put the aluminum foil to press down on it. That's the real official streetwear. It is. Honestly, it's at my house too. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Ronnie said, you don't got the brick, you don't want it. Yeah, I was... <laughs> So far, what's some what's some goals that you want to do? Have you done mixtapes? Do you want to get into that? Um, right now, I'm uh, like we as a team, me and my girlfriend, we have been focused on several things. But our main thing right now is basically trying to get step out the box, basically go out to places we haven't been, spread out my name as a team, and basically just let bits and couple of people know like hey I'm available hey can we try this can we try that and basically just doing a lot of new events and just like this one honestly just collab with people you see a vision with um, for somebody to be as constant as Sir Chef right here with a passion you gotta understand in my definition passion means you're doing something with your time that probably isn't paying you at the time what you would want in the future. So you put your energy, and honestly it isn't even always about getting or receiving it back, but if not, just doing something you love to entertain you during life. You know what I'm saying? They say life is quick, but it's long. So every year you have to do something, right? Either you decide to lose weight, either, you know what I'm saying? Some other people like us who will get creative, like to step out the box. We like to create entertainment for you guys. We like to go out, make you guys happy, DJ. There's just people like that out in the world. So once we put our bundle of passion into one thing and create consistently something that's going for us in the future, that's how someone becomes successful, of course. 
So that's basically my my answer to that question. Okay. okay. Yeah, DJ yeah. Ronnie got some bars over yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, he's, he's I'm really passionate about this, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's dropping gems and wisdom over here. He's not a fucking somewhere. Was class president. Class president. Was. Was. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, right now we're going to get our sauce going, so we're going to add our ketchup. Now, when you make your ketchup and mayo sauce, yeah. are you more ke ketchup or you go more mayo with it? Oh, man, see, um, I'm picky about that, too, <laughs> because I don't like a lot of ketchup, but I don't like a lot of mayo, because I just feel like ketchup doesn't go on a lot of things, but so does mayo. So it's really like, for me, it'd be like... A little bit of mayo, a little bit of ketchup, and then combine it a little bit just to get the, the flavor and then eat it. But personally, personally, I'll probably add some hot sauce to it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna throw some jalapenos in there. But then our taste tester, aka his girl, just said she don't want that much spice, so I gotta be careful. That's I, I don't I don't know who to, who to please on this one. <laughs> Now I'm also gonna be honest. I don't make this. I don't eat ketchup and mayo together. You don't make really? your own mayo. I don't. Either? I don't. I, why? Why? Um, why? I could. I could make it. Mayo is gross. Mayo. Why do you say it's gross? What's gross about? I mean, the dry's almost done, so you. I know. Dad, like, like, what? He was eating up some mayo. <laughs> I, 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 love, I, I love how you're real observant, but that's, that, that's from the spicy remoulade that y'all always can get from Chat Tree Company on Instagram and Facebook. You already know. Y'all talking? That's why the jar is always empty. That's why the jar is always empty. But it's the texture of mayo. It's just, it doesn't taste good. Look how white it is. It's just not good at all. Now, also, also, mayo is a good base for a lot of things. So, yes, mayo is in a bunch of stuff. But by itself, with ketchup, ketchup is fine. Don't ruin ketchup. It gives it flavor, though. I love how when I said it, Drew said, yup, I agree. <laughs> I agree. It gives it flavor. I put ketchup on everything, though. Exactly. Facts. Exactly. Everyone telling you to talk your shit. <laughs> That's, see? There we go. I ain't the only one. Now, I'm going to throw a little bit of jalapenos in here. Just, just so we get that little bit of kick. Uh, I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I don't know who to please right now. I don't know. The DJ or his, or his girl. I say, uh... Me, sir, to be honest, because it's not like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not like having being in a career and then knowing exactly how things are done. I was telling her this the other day, too. Mm -hmm. I was like, um, see, sometimes she gets mad at me when we go out to eat, yeah, and I find something good, and she's like, mm, and I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, what's wrong? She's like, the sign missing. I'm like, it's mad good. How is this sign missing? So, I understand that sometimes when she's like, you know, it's not good because this and this and the bird is missing because that's her passion, being a chef, understand. So, my passion is DJing. So, when we go out and I go into the club and I hear a DJ do something I don't like, you best believe I'm walking out. So or at least the whole night I'm telling my girl, like, why'd he do that? <laughs> but you, but you, but you know why'd he do that? But you know what? That's Now, now I'll, I'll, throw, I'll throw the question at you. Did, you. did you go to culinary school or did you just learn from... I've learned since I was younger. Okay, so... As a chef, I know exactly where she comes from because one, when you're in the, when you're in the industry, you're picky. You know what's happening. You know if a certain dish needs something. Like you, yeah, well, that's like, why I say I'm at the. Some dudes would get mad, but I'm at the point where I like. Yeah. So what do you think is missing? What do you think make my experience? It's great right now. What do you think would make my experience even better? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she'll be like, Well, if they added this or this, and I'd be like, Hmm, we should try it without that next time, and it ends up being great. So that's why I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna stop being mad. I'm gonna just not question it, cause she knows what she's doing. Same way, and she's like, "Babe, I think that button you should press it now." And I'm like, "No, no. not while I transition. No, that doesn't make the transition better." And she's no. like, "Okay." And then I do it, and she's like, "Yeah, you, you, you're right." I was like, "You see, it sounds better in the ear." Right now, we got at our patties. I was mad at fighting. <laughs> so 
saw just, just a tad, tad saw on top. How'd the rolls come out? What is that? The bread. Cheese! Boy, looking right, looking right. Cheese! <laughs> get more on, get more on. Can I grill? Can I grill them like regular burgers? Yes. So, I've, I've, from what I've seen, you normally do them on a grill. With the portable grill, I tested it out. It didn't really come out that great, just because the portable grills aren't as powerful. But if we're, if we're outside, I would throw them on the grill. But right here, I just wanted to get, get just get the quick the browning on it. I feel like more of the concept of chimney is it's more degrees. Bro, it's more degrees. degrees. Yeah. It, Ronnie, would you, would you say that? With chimneys, it's it's not the like grilling or like even in the paint, it's just the grease that comes from it. Um see uh I don't know too much about cooking, but I'ma tell you, as long as that meat ain't red, oh it's boys, 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 boys. <laughs> this is why the moderator's here. Right? <laughs> Thank you. You saved me. You saved me. It's like eating that glizzy in public and you go like this. Pause. Double pause. This is why the moderator's here. I, I, I just want to say, to all the people who started this glizzy yeah, and pausing and stuff, you can't eat anything. I really don't like you guys. Like, you Honestly, Like, what happened to when we just, the kids just eating hot dogs, it was all, all good. At a cookout. All of a sudden, now it's hot dogs. Hey, yo, hey. You got a hot dog yo, in your hand. Yo, you got a in your hand? <laughs> <laughs> like, at this point, I go to cookouts and I make my girlfriend hold it. <laughs> I'm like, babe, when they looking. Oh, no. we eat them at home. Oh, we eat them at home. Save them for later. Save them for later. Oh, save them for later. So Lizzy demon on the low. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Dave, you gotta understand, like you were saying, when we were brought up, everything was all like, all right, let's let's have a little bit of caprisons and you know what I'm saying, glizzies and whatnot. All right, and call that a day. You know, after after the boys play basketball and been outside. So when you grow up from that era to this era where everybody's like, ew, you eating a glizzy? The social media said it's nasty. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> That boy Maddox said, why doesn't Chef Tree give out a uh, free plate to the chefs and uh, no, to the DJs? Are you talking to me? <laughs> Not like how you used to give out free plates that's, in the that's what a, That's the that was a rap. That was a rap. We stopped doing that a while ago. Why are you being fat, man? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, if you've seen that throwback picture, I need you to like get back to that, alright? Yes, the cabbage and onions, these are pickled. Pickled with uh, salt, sugar, apple cider vinegar. Jefferson, Jefferson said he's sliding through. Jefferson said he's sliding through. Cheese! <laughs>
Kayla said, start shaking ass. <laughs> Yo, Kayla, chill. Yeah. Kayla, chill. Thank you, Kayla. Bro, moderator. <laughs> what? 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 Listen, listen, Kayla forgives him. <laughs> Kayla. Kayla, 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 Kayla. You have one more chance. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You say you something crazy like you that. You can't kick out Kayla? She's gonna be on the show soon. Alright, then start twerking, monkey. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Alright, back to the food. <laughs> DJ, you wanna say anything? What's going on here? I'm <laughs> picky. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna receive a chicken like we would receive it at Frost Street. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, get a treat. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, that's the song I was looking for. That's the song I was looking for, see? <laughs> The base off, though. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> right, so, so there y'all have it. We have our Chef Trick Chimneys. <laughs> <laughs> Change up your style, Lord. I mean, I, I don't have anything else. I know, what do you want to be like? <laughs> I had two plates in me. If I had, like, what do you want me to do? I'm sorry. All of a sudden, <laughs> he's on camera today. All of a sudden, yeah. he's like, Damn, <laughs> <laughs> hey, do something else, man. It's, 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 like, it's like the school class pictures. You got that one, you have one pick. That's all you have. Like, right. turn your head more to the left. Exactly, like. exactly. <laughs> all right. Alright, we're gonna bring this over to you. We are. Alright. Yay! Alright, so uh, like I said, I'm 50, so I don't like onions, so I'm gonna just take them out. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I try to put a lesson in you. It's fine. <laughs> Listen, we can take them off. It's still a chicken, right? I'm on Broad Street right now. I'm on Broad Street. <laughs> Let me put one of y'all know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you. This one's better. Fire? This one's better. It's actually pretty close. Oh! This one's better. <laughs> no, the picture yeah. is better. The picture is better. One thing they have in common is people will tell you in private events or in clubs or hey can you do this set or you tell a chef like hey can you do this meal and your whole point of being the person who brings things to life is to make it as that person imagines so the whole time you're like I hope he does this I hope he does that but you should really be thinking just let him do his thing and see what he really brings to the table and you Chef Tyreek did your thing and you brought it to the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, now, now. Certified now. from a Dominican. No, now, I'm not, he, just, he just kind of said it. I was going to go there. <laughs> I, 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 it, it might not be close, but does it get the stamp? 
Um, to be a hundred percent honest, and it's, it's okay. It's okay. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You gotta understand. It, 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 I've it, it had tastes worse. Pretty close. Yeah, yeah I've had worse. So when I say it tastes pretty close, I'm talking about I'm probably feeling the same same season that I'm feeling as being in the yard right now waiting for a chimney. And listening to somebody child, at three in the morning. Oh, I mean, he he actually just says he said dr, not Broad Street. Bro. Exactly. So exactly. You, if it's coming close to straight dr, bro. Yes. Hit that, that dance. Hit that dance again. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> you gotta understand, Broad Street is as much as you want it to be Dominican. It's just a record. Okay. Obviously. So everything they have is already cold. It's all th thrown in a fryer. Yeah. All boys just did it like they do it in the yard. They got the meat. Whoop, bop, 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 cut it up. Oh, throw it in oh, the grill. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> don't mind him. Don't mind him. <laughs> you talking about pause, pause, pause. Thank you. They cut up the meat. Pause, pause, pause. <laughs> they make it right in front of you fresh. And that's what the flavor of a chimney really, like, really matters for. Right. Getting it fresh, not just, okay, boom, from fridge. <laughs> Okay. Just wait in there, you know what I'm saying? For meat that's been there for days and whatnot. This is, you know what I'm saying? Meat that's fresh from the deli. Boom. Cook the same thing. So let's go and taste it. One more time. Pause, pause. Can I taste it? You gotta get your review in. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. How's the man to ketchup ratio? It's pretty perfect, to be honest. Not too much I'm not gonna lie to you, that's my yeah. first time doing it too. That's what I'm saying. That's I'm glad I don't feel the spiciness because I wouldn't have liked it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you see what I'm saying? Yeah. When you give somebody a task and they do it as similar or as close as possible as what you imagine, that's what makes a person, an artist, an entrepreneur, that's what makes them like their signature. That's what makes them happy. You know what I'm saying? Their signature, the person to do what they do with a passion. You did it, sir. Appreciate that. You did. Appreciate that. You did. Appreciate that. Look, we're gonna let them enjoy the, enjoy this sandwich now. We're gonna get into our announcements. Uh, like we said, April thirtieth, Battle of the Chefs, Miss A Block versus Stevie DoorDash. Make sure you guys are putting in what secret ingredient you guys want me to give to them as well. I will be putting out the what? <laughs> Your mom's calling you Tato. <laughs> She told me to call you Tato. that. Tato? Tato. Tato. Oh, my fault. That's, that's, my fault. That's, my, that's, her, that's my little nickname for her. That's that's your nickname? Your, your DR nickname? Yeah, yeah. Tato. Listen, I made that nickname up. The, she be trying to take credit for everything. <laughs> Tato. That was on me. And Nanos. They got some beef, yo. Nanos. I called you Nanos. She yeah. can have Lil' Bill. Nanos. I, I don't. See, there's a, re there's, a reason. there's a reason why that one ain't stick. It don't sound right. But look, Battle of the Chefs, April 30th, a scoopy on YouTube, so make sure you guys are commenting. Say who you guys got, we're gonna put a, a polls as well as we get closer, see who you guys have. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. 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 He's picky. He's picky. No, I literally just drink tequila. Like, just drink tequila. Uh, also, it's getting hot. Daylight savings, which means spring is on the way, summer's on the way. Tastings outside. Tastings outside. That means catered menus. Yep. Catered food. I just had, you know, I just seen I had a brunch yesterday, which is fire. I got a Sweet 16 coming up, which is gonna be fire. I got another party. What is that? You about to it's call the fire? Girl, it's just a girl. It's just a girl. I know. <laughs> the, the girl knows it's gonna be fire. So look, <laughs> make sure you guys on Bookie Chat Street for y'all catered events, y'all cookouts, y'all birthdays, Sweet 16. Make sure y'all book that as well. We have we have, we have some menus. We have things coming out for you guys as well. Also, you guys see the aprons. You guys see the, the Chef Tariq merch. You see DJ Ronnie has his apron on. Sheesh! <laughs> we it. repping, bro. We, we repping. Look, we really appreciate that. Look, so make sure you guys are getting the aprons. Uh, meal preps as well. Uh, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. All this talk of Battle of the Chefs with Stevie Doordash with A Block, I need a battle. I need one. I need, th this is Battle of the Chefs 2. I need to book Battle of the Chefs 3. I don't see the call outs. I don't see any challenge. I, I need a challenger. Everybody wants Drewski out there. So Everyone need... wants Drew, but Drew don't want to do it. He keeps Drew. saying no. Drew's behind the scenes. I got to make sure that you get your exposure. You feel me? Like. <laughs> Chef Norm. Everybody wants Chef Norm out Chef there. Norm. Chef why, Norm. Why not? Well, nah. Well, yeah, you and Kaylee to go off head to head. That'll bring in some numbers. 
We're doing a What you think, Maddox? <laughs> <laughs> he, he better not say nothing. <laughs> you better not say nothing, Maddox. <laughs> I'm telling you. Just... Uh, 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 me and Kayla are cool. We, if, but if Kayla wants it, she knows. Oh. That, that's, but, but me and Kayla are cool. I love like Kayla. Uh, also, Mixing Pot podcast coming soon from Chef Truk and Chef Drewski as well. Yeah. Second Human is in the works. Yeah. Nightfall Phase 1 is yeah. in the works. Projects will be rolling out soon, so make sure you guys be on the lookout for that. And also book us to do wild cooking. Drewski's on the drone. Mm-hmm. So make sure y'all get that. Also, I will be putting out the video from me and Drew on WBRU this week, so make sure you guys keep a lookout on that. Also, if you guys want to see me die on YouTube from the One Chip Challenge, you guys can see that as well. <laughs> You ever do the one chip challenge? I don't think I'm ever gonna do it. Don't. don't. Nah, I, I want to actually, because I like spicy. Watch don't. the video. Don't. <laughs> don't. Watch, watch the video. Why? It stay stuck right there? Pause. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Mod was around. Mod was around. Mod wasn't around. Don't worry about it. <laughs> look, look, look. Just, just watch the video, you'll understand. Uh. But I think that's all we got today. Uh, oh, DJ Ronnie, Ron, thank you for being on today. We appreciate you. This was a great episode. <coughs> thank uh, you for having me, bro. Uh, real quick, for the uh, for, of course, of course, for the culture. Uh, even before you give you, you know, where they can find you out, where they can book you at. What's one message for younger DJs who are coming up and want to get into the game? That's a big one for me. You gotta understand. Uh, for from a young DJ to younger DJ. So I'm 23, I'm going to be 24 on July 1st. So your whole life as somebody who's going to be making things for somebody like yourself to put out work outside for people to listen to or eat as a chef, you're always going to be put down. <coughs> if people haven't tried your stuff like I said, they're not going to want to try it unless you give them a reason for it. So uh, everybody can say I'm a good chef and somebody will be like, okay, I don't care, but you gotta show them. You gotta show them the plates you make. Like, of course, you're doing with this season. That's why I said it's great. I want to collab with you because you're doing something I haven't seen. Basically, nobody do. Who can you call out right now? There's not multiple chefs doing this right now, right? So, as a DJ, I want to tell y'all. Obviously, always do something other DJs aren't doing. That's one. If you're a young DJ and you're watching me, if you're a chef, always do your own. Take your own path. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't go to culinary school, it's fine. If you're a great DJ, you still have taste for music. Become the DJ you want to. But my big word here is consistency. If you start signing off, you get somewhere with it, or you believe you're going to get somewhere with it, picture it out, make it your vision, or a five-year plan. doesn't have to be a plan at all. It's just the fact that the motivation to get where you're going it's gonna bring you somewhere in the future. Is the motivation that keeps you thriving to well, do what you love. Be, be, so that's that's be that's creative. my advice. Be creative. Be consistent. Be, be different. consistent. Be creative. Be different. There you go. And don't copy Chef Tariq on Instagram. Chef Tariq either. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't give him that uh, chimney ingredients because I'm gonna need it later. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. Speaking of ingredients, look. The Chef Tariq Show Genius Edition Volume One will be coming out very soon. And also, mixed up Chef Tariq Volume One will be coming out very soon as well. So make sure I stay on the lookout for that. What are uh, they? You didn't say what they are. What? What is books. coming out? Oh, books. I'm sorry. Did I not say that? <laughs> no. Did I say book? Oh, I'm sorry. B- digital books. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, but DJ Ronnie, where can they find you at? Where can they book you at? Um, so it's easy. I have pages from Facebook to Twitter to Instagram to Twitch, SoundCloud, and YouTube. Um, you can find me specifically by typing DJ Ronnie Ron or spelling it out D E E J, obviously. Ronnie Ron, R O N N Y, R O N, Ronnie Ron. Everywhere you can find me. You got my mixes. If you want to book me, just send me a DM. I do private events, wedding baby showers, of course. Um, if you ever want to collab with a, a customer and they need a DJ and they need a chef, we can kick it. You know what I'm saying? Got you. And vice versa, because I know a lot of me- uh, venues who usually have me DJ and they'll pass me a plate of food, my dude. Yeah. I'm like, who made it? And the person naked and isn't even at the party because they were too embarrassed to come. Wow. Like, I just want to put that out there. Wow. Um, I've had to have McDonald's right after my night gigs because of that. So uh, thank you all for your appreciation, but uh, the food was bad. <laughs> no, but if you really want to book me, you guys can just DM me, shoot me dates. I have dates available. Right now, everything's packing up. 
Thank you so much, man, for having me here. Well, we appreciate you being on. Heart, bro. We appreciate you being on. This is a great episode. I'm glad we ever got to do this. Glad we get to have a, our first actual Spanish DJ on. No, it's not a shot to anyone else, but an actual Spanish DJ who plays Spanish music is definitely here for us. We appreciate you. We definitely gotta have you back on very soon. Thank you. Thank you. It also sounds like you about to play some George Lopez. So I'm oh, ready. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 ready. I'm ready. You gotta I'm understand. Ready for the drop. I'm ready for the drop on that. So. You gotta understand when you're in Broad Street, because this is what we're pursuing right now. You can't pass Broad Street without hearing the song. You know what I'm saying? And they hear some bass right after. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm waiting for it. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Look, that's a great way to end it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching. Hey, have a great day. Have a good rest of your Sunday. DJ Ronnie, take us out.